Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of the Clips of the Week. Rather than showing a bunch of clips regarding a variety of plays, this video is going to look at one point of emphasis for the 2023 season, and that's helping or aiding the runner. So we want to take a look at a few clips to illustrate this point of emphasis. The first one that we're going to look at was one that we shared with you back in week one. And the helping the runner foul was properly called here by the center judge on this play. So you may remember seeing this about a month ago or so. Well, remember our goal is to have one rule, one mechanic, and one interpretation. As districts have changed and teams travel around the state, both during the regular season and obviously in the postseason, schools are going to work with officials from different associations. And our goal here in Oregon is to have, again, one rule, one interpretation, and one mechanic. So let's take a look at some clips that were turned in by the crews that worked them where we had aiding or helping the runner, sometimes called, often not. So the next couple of clips we're gonna look at were turned in by the crew and they had several instances where the team in white, the visiting team, ran a play where the runner was pushed from behind. We'll see this here from high above, and then we'll also have an end zone view. And as we can see from the end zone view, the runner is clearly pushed in the back by a teammate. On this play, the crew lets it go. Again, we'll see it one more time here from the end zone view. This should have been a foul for aiding or helping the runner, and it was not caught. So let's take a look at another play from this game. Similar spot on the field. Again, we'll look at it on high. And this time they're pushing the runner all the way through to the end zone. Now let's stop here and point out a couple of things. We have the head linesman killing the play. And we also have coaching staff from the home team upset about the lack of call. Now, as a reminder, if we have a foul for aiding the runner, this is a live ball foul. Simply throw your flag and continue to officiate the play. In this case, the crew killed the play. So while they recognize aiding the runner, they did not throw a flag and they killed the play. And that's not what we want to do in a situation like this. Also, I want to point out that the home team in this game was the visiting team in the first clip that we showed on this and about a month ago. So again, as we stress one rule, one mechanic and one interpretation, this is a perfect example of why that's important. This is a team that was called for the foul of aiding or helping the runner in week one, and then was a victim of the lack of a call in week four. So if we look in the rule book under helping the runner, the rule says an offensive player shall not push, pull, or lift the runner to assist in their forward progress. So the first couple of clips are what we're accustomed to seeing at different levels where a teammate pushes directly on the runner to help them move forward. And again, we simply throw the flag, it's a live ball foul, it's a five yard penalty if it is accepted. However, let's look at a couple other parts of that rule. First, let's look at a clip that shows a teammate helping the runner by pulling on them. So at the end of this play, we're going to see number 11 pull on the jersey, and they pull their teammate one or two yards forward. This should have easily been picked up by the line judge, and the back judge could have had this as well. Unfortunately, we did not get a flag on this play. So we want to remind everyone that it's not just pushing the runner that is helping the runner, but you can also pull a teammate, and we should have a flag on a play like this. And finally, a teammate is not allowed to lift a runner and assist in their forward progress. So we're going to see a play where this happened, and again, we did not get a call. So we're going to get a long run here after this completed pass, and number 74 in white is going to lift and carry his teammate probably about five yards. We can look at that one again. 
We have the headlinesman coming down. The back judge is in excellent position to rule on this, but we should have a flag where the helping the runner begins. So we wanted to take a quick look at a few different clips as we review this point of emphasis for 2023. Again, this is not a new rule, but a point of emphasis. And one final reminder that helping the runner is when an offensive player pushes, pulls, or lifts the runner to assist in their forward progress. So hopefully this will help you in your pregames and as you get ready to officiate your next game. Best of luck in those games and the rest of your season, and we'll see you in another video soon.